Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to create a droplet on DigitalOcean and basically a droplet in DigitalOcean is your server. Though you can use any other provider like AWS or Vulture or whatever you want to use. But here for the purposes of the tutorial, I am simply going to use DigitalOcean because its UI is super simple to use and it is really beautiful. And if you haven't signed up to DigitalOcean till now, then you can follow the link in the description below where you will get $100 of credit to use. So the thing you need to do here is that that you need to create a droplet as you can see here that here I already have one droplet here but in your case you might not be having any droplets. So what you need to do you need to simply go here on the droplets tab here and then you simply need to go to this create thing here and you need to click on this droplets here which would be creating our cloud server. So let's click uh, click on this droplet thing here and now what we need to do, uh, choose, we need to choose an image here and here I am choosing CentOS because I have already told you before that why I choose CentOS here and then for the plan I am simply choosing basic here and I would be choosing this thing here that is a regular Intel with SSD and it is sufficient for your small applications and it would cost you around $5 per month. So let's simply choose this $5 per month. And then for the block storage, we won't be adding any volume here. And then we need to choose the data center. Choose this uh, data center that is nearest to you or, or to the place where your application would be used the most. So here I'm simply choosing Bangalore here. And for the VPC network, leave it at default. Uh, for additional options, leave them at default. That is all unchecked. And here it would ask you to have authentication strategy. So either you can use SSH keys or passwords. But this password thing is a highly no-no here. We won't be using password authentication to authenticate our SSH client. But instead we would be using SSH keys. Though I already have one SSH key here. But I'm going to show you that how do you add, add SSH key here. So if we click here, that is new SSH key we need to paste in the public key of the SSH key pair. So you can follow these steps which are written here or what you can do, you can continue along with me. So now on my terminal here to generate a key pair, that is the SSH key pair, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a utility here that is called SSH keygen. So I'm saying SSH hyphen keygen to generate a key pair and now we need to provide in the actual path of the key where it would uh, be uh, saved and we also need to provide in the name of the key by default it would be kept inside your root folder or inside your home folder and then inside the directory called dot ssh and the key name would be id underscore rsa though you can simply keep this uh, name here that is id underscore rsa but it's always a good idea to give your keys some name so that it would it, so that those keys can be identified later on so now i, I need to provide in the path where this key would be saved and it would be saved inside my home folder and and then inside the ssh folder and then the name of the key would be uh, youtube so let me spell it correctly so youtube tutorial simply like this and now let me press enter and for the passphrase i am simply omitting the passphrase by pressing enter twice though it's highly recommended that you can uh, that you enter your passphrase here so let me press enter to not provide any pass, pass phrase here and now let me press again enter and now our SSH key has been generated. So now let me cd into the .ssh folder here and now let me clear out the screen and if I do ls here we see that we have these two key files here that is the YouTube tutorial and I have misspelled those uh, uh, key names here that is with the double y here but it doesn't matter here. So now let's have a look at the contents of the YouTube tutorial thing here. So let's simply say YouTube tutorial. So this is a private key here and the key which ends with dot pub would be the public key and that public key would be used inside the droplet. So let's simply cat YouTube tutorial dot pub. So this is the key uh, thing which we need to paste here inside our digital ocean thing. That is the public SSH key. So now let me simply copy this uh, SSH key by doing cat youtube tutorial dot pub and we would be using and we would be piping it to pb copy to copy the key inside our clipboard so now let's go back and now let me simply paste this key here by doing control v or command v on mac and now you can optionally give a name to this key and here i am simply going to call it youtube tutorial and again this name here that is youtube tutorial doesn't matter it need not be same as this name here that is the name of the key here. So it doesn't matter here. So now let's simply click on add SSH key. And now what we need to do, we need to choose the key here. So either you can select all the keys, but here I'm simply going to select only this YouTube tutorial key, which I have just created. And now 
how many droplets we want to create we only want to create one droplet and then we need to ch choose a host name here so that we can identify them later on so here for the purposes of this video i'm simply going to call this uh, droplet youtube tutorial something like this maybe and then you can optionally add some tags but uh, that is not required and then for the backups i'm not going to enable any backups because it would again cost me one dollar per month so now let's simply click on create droplet so now you need to wait for a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes and your droplet would be initialized in, in a moment of time. So now we see that our droplet has been created here with this region that is Bangalore 1, 1 GB of RAM and 25 GB of hard disk space. And then this is the actual IP address of our droplets. So let's simply try to SSH into this droplet by simply copying this IP address and let's go back to our terminal here. And let me clear out the screen first and let's try to SSH into that droplet as the root user. So we'll say SSH root at this IP address. And now let me simply press enter and it will fail. But it would, but it is asking us as of now that is, do, do we want to continue connecting? So we'll simply say yes. But uh, this will fail because the permission has been denied and it is because the key which we have just created that is YouTube tutorial VLS here that is this YouTube tutorial has not been added to our S local SSH agent. So to add this key to our local SSH agent what we will do we will simply say SSH hyphen add and then we need to provide in the name of the key. So we will simply say uh, YouTube tutorial and now let me simply press enter here and uh, and mind you guys that if you're not actually inside the dot ssh directory then you need to provide in the actual path of this key but here since i'm already inside the dot ssh directory so i'm simply saying ssh add youtube tutorial the name of the private key so now let me simply press enter and we see that this identity has been added and now let me clear out the console and now if i try to uh, ssh again as the root user inside uh, to our droplet that is uh, running on this uh, ip address so if I do this, then most likely I would be able to log in to my droplet. So now we can see that we are logged in as a root user to our droplet.